In this first video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Unreal Engine 5. So first you need to go to unrealengine.com to this website right here, unrealengine.com. And then in the upper right hand side, you will see a download button. Go ahead and navigate to this page. This will list all the requirements that your system should have. Now go ahead and scroll down a little further. And the first thing you need to do is download the launcher. This is Epic Games Launcher that will give you access to a hub for Epic Games, for the Marketplace, as well as access to Unreal Engine. So go ahead and download the launcher. This is a very small file that will give you access to everything you need. So once downloaded, here's the Epic Games installer. Go ahead, double click on it and run it and install this launcher onto your computer. Once you install and then you run Epic Games Launcher, you'll be brought to this page. You have to create an account in order for you to get access to the engine and to all of the features of Epic Games Launcher. So just go ahead and create an account with Epic Games. And then you'll use that info to log in into Epic Games Launcher. Then once you've done that, you will be taken into the Epic Games Launcher hub. And you will see something like this. Now the first thing you need to do is navigate into Unreal Engine tab right here on the left hand side. You might be inside the store. This is where you get games. Library is your game library of games that you have from Epic Games Launcher. But we need to navigate into Unreal Engine to this page right here. And then at the very top, you have a few new tabs. You have news, samples, marketplace, and we want to click over to library. This is where you get Unreal Engine. So when you see this page, you're not going to have any of these icons available to you. So let me go ahead and just remove a few. So you'll actually have this empty as well as under my projects, you will not see anything because you haven't created any projects yet. So let me just remove it quickly, as well as the vault content. Let me just type something in. So this is what you'll usually see. Now, in order for you to download Unreal Engine, you might see a little icon already popped up here. If you don't, you just simply click on the plus icon right here at the very top, engine versions, in order to add what engine version you want to install. And then you can use this drop down menu and choose which version of the engine do you want? Now we're going to download the latest as of right now, which is 5.1.0. Once you have that selected, go ahead and click install. This will ask you which location you want to download Unreal Engine, and we're going to keep it on our C drive. Now you do have a few options that you can access and you can enable or disable what do you want to install with this version of Unreal Engine. Do you want to include the starter content? This is a uh, base meshes, textures, and materials for you to use within projects, as well as templates, as well as engine source. You want to go ahead and keep all of these enabled. You don't want to disable them unless you know what you're doing. So we're going to keep these on, as well as you can enable and disable some important source code information for which target platforms you're going to be creating content for. So if you're going to be developing for Android, maybe iOS, you want to go ahead and make sure these are enabled, which will be by default. And there's a few extra ones. Now you don't have to touch anything for your first Unreal Engine installation. Just leave them at default, but know that there are a few options you can enable disable and then go ahead and click install. And then just sit back and wait until the entire Unreal Engine version has been downloaded and installed on your computer. Now, of course, I'm going to pause and then we'll start back up when it's done and ready to be launched. And here we are, Unreal Engine version 5.1 has been installed. Now you could have multiple versions installed on your computer. And you can see I have 5.0.3 as well as 4.27. And if you wanted to install additional versions, you would just click on this plus icon, then use the drop down menu, choose which version you would want to have in addition to another version, and just go through the process again. I'm going to go ahead and remove the slot. If you have multiple versions of Unreal Engine installed, you could uninstall it by clicking on this. X icon and it will be uninstalled. But one version is enough. I just have multiple versions in order to prototype and test. And the next step would be you would launch whichever Unreal Engine version you want to work in. Now you cannot open up the editor unless you create a project that's associated with that Unreal Engine version so you can launch the editor and work in it. 